beautiful people. I am Leslie Jones. Banks, banks, banks. We don't like banks, but it is the way of the world. So if you've been following my journey, you know what I went through with Chase Bank in Ghana. And if you don't, Earl, play the video so the people can get caught up. The paperwork was done last weekend, ready to go sign. So once I got the not notification that I can send my money and everything's in the clear, I sent my money last Thursday. Three to five business days. Cool. In the app, it says it's complete and the money has gone through. And the developer was like, Leslie, I don't have your money. And I said, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> So I called Chase and I said, what is going on? They're like, oh, we just... Oh, 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 you know, that thing. And they said, oh, it's gonna be seven to 10 business days. I said, first you said three to five. Now you're saying seven to 10. She's like, you know, seven tops. Chase, what are you doing? What's going on? So she's like, it should be there by Friday. Okay, so that's where I am right now. Eight weeks later. Uh, hold on, Maya. Eating Sanjolo. It's been three weeks, folks. It is now October 4th. You know, Chase said the money should hit my account on Friday, right? Oh, it hit an account. It hit my account because they reversed it for the third time. That money was never on its way. It was never complete. And the representative I talked to for the second time, she was just talking out her arsh, talking out her arsh. So I called again for the third time. I said, what's going on? What does this acronym mean? L-Y-C to F-C-Y, not applicable. She didn't know either. She's like, you know what? Let me Google it for you. I already Googled it. And she's like, I think you're right. I think it means local for currency to foreign currency, not applicable. She said, there's some regions we no longer serve. So Chase, you make me transfer three times, knowing that you guys no longer serve Ghana. What a mess. So Chase is a no-go. While I was in Ghana, my debit card worked. I was able to withdraw money. That's not an issue. It was just wiring. So international wiring with Ghana, it's a no-go. Maybe it'll change in the future, but as of now, no. So now I'm gonna share with you my process and how I chose the banks that I'm going to deal with business going back and forth with Ghana. I tried my best to keep the dollar circulating within the community. When I learned that when you give your money to a bank, they just send it out to other people, whether it's a form of a credit card, a business loan, construction loan, whatever, your money goes in and then it goes out. And it goes to businesses, it goes to people that you don't know. It might go to businesses that you don't even ethically, ethically agree with. And I said, ooh, if I'm going to support a business that I don't even believe in and or strangers that I don't, I don't even know, I might as well find a bank that caters to my community and to the less fortunate, right? So this is the bank I chose. I found a melanated, owned and operated bank. Let's read about them, huh? City First Bank, right? Partnered and merged with Broadway Federal in April of 2021, but this is how this bank started. Broadway Federal Savings and Loans opened its doors and its first customers on January 11, 1947. Broadway Federal, located in Los Angeles, was founded by three American African entrepreneurs. Mm, yes, H. A. Howard, a real estate broker. Dr. H. Claude Hudson, a dentist and community leader, and Paul R. Williams, a premier African-American architect in the United States. Black men, we love you. Broadway Federal's founding was in response to lack of access to capital for home ownership for returning African-American soldiers of World, World War II. Why would I not want to be part of this bank? Period, okay? 50 years later, committed community members in Washington, D.C. gathered in a church basement. Come on, church! Hey, hey. 
to find a solution for the same persistent lack of access to financial services for minority co um, communities, seeding the idea for City First Bank. Check this out. In November of 1998, City First Bank opened its doors with Debbie Heard Baptiste as CEO, a female melanated CEO. We honor our ancestors, RIP. Period, my money's going there, period. But what made me sad is that when I went there, I was like, yeah, I want to transfer money to Ghana to a, a foreign account. They're like, ooh, we're not at that level yet. Dang it, dang it. So what did I do? I did more research because if I cannot use a melanated bank to transfer money to Africa, I'm gonna research and find out what is the best fit. And when I tell you I researched, get ready for what I'm about to share with y'all. Get ready. The origin of things, how things come to be, is very important to me. So I researched the top 10 banks in the world so I don't have to worry about them having issues with international um, wiring. And out of the 10, four are based in the States. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, and Chase, right? And I researched all of them. Guess what I found out? <clears throat> all these banks I'm about to talk about, the foundation of how they came to be is based on genocide, stealing, exploitation, and slavery. So some of these stories I'm gonna share sound inspirational and exciting, but just remember the foundation of how it came to be. Okay, let's go. Bank of America was founded by A.P. Giannini. It was called Bank of Italy before it was called Bank of America. Mother remarried, married a real estate mogul, uh, AP was 31, he retired because they had produce, they made food. So he retired, had a lot of money, a bank asked him to come join their business. And he was like, you know what, let's, let's give capital to like the less fortunate, like the Italian immigrants are just trying to make it. Let's give smaller loans up. And the bank didn't want to do that because they're giving what, money to the rich. And so he started his own bank, Bank of Italy. It exploded. Bank of America is literally the biggest bank in the world. And it started with him wanting to support his people, his community. There you go. Yo, Wells Fargo, let's talk about it. It started in 1781. Remember that date, please. Robert Morris, he was the superintendent of finance, right? Check this out. He was part of the Continental Congress of the Bank of North America. So it was called the Bank of North America before it was called Wells Fargo. <laughs> this bank was the first national government bank created to do business for the government and with the government. So they created a bank to keep the money circulating within this Continental Congress. <sighs> 1782 used uh, the bank to stabilize the um, national currency and save the confederation from bankruptcy so guys at this time this is when they're fighting england we're fighting england to become independent robert morris was known to bring money out of thin air right but we i'm going to tell you where the money really came from so they got four hundred and fifty thousand dollars of french silver so they can keep on battling england and help them to not go bankrupt but guess where they, the French got that money from? Some of you guys already know this. What, what'd you say? Yes, Haiti. Shout out to Know Your Caribbean. Check this out. During the late 1700s, Haiti was the richest colony in the world, making more money than the Spanish empire, the entire Spanish empire. When the USA was battling against England, during the revolution, right? The Continental Congress, night, I mean, 1781, 1782, right? France took $9 billion of Haitian wealth, right? And out of that 9 billion, 450,000 went to Robert Morris to back up the bank of Wells Fargo. So without the Haitian money, 
the USA would have never became independent. Citigroup was founded by Samuel Osgood. President George Washington selected Samuel Osgood to represent Massachusetts in the Continental Congress. Does that sound familiar to you? He was part of the Continental Congress with Morris and Washington. They were all a crew, okay? In 1812, he was elected the first president of the newly formed Citibank of New York, which later became Citibank. Woo, the predecessor of today's Citigroup. Let's talk about where they got their wealth from. After the Haitian Revolution, France forced Haiti to pay 21 billion in today's money for their freedom from enslavement. Check this out. Over the decade, the USA became an appointed debt collector for France. So if France was like, we're gonna let you guys be independent, okay? But you got to give us this money. But we wanna make sure, you know, it doesn't look like we're taking money. So we're gonna have USA collect the money for us. Okay. Accruing millions in fees. So as the money was going to the US, the US accrued fees, and then they would send the money to France. So they're in cahoots right now, guys. The USA took control over Haiti's gold reserves. They seized control of Haiti's custom houses, administrative institutions, banks, and national treasury, with the US using 40% of Haiti's national income to repay debts to American and French banks for 20 years. Under the US government control, a total of 40% of Haiti's national income was designated to repay debts to American and French banks. And this is the foundation of Citigroup and Wells Fargo. With all that said, we don't like banks. We understand it's the way of the world. But think about it. What if we can get City First Bank, a melanin, melanated lead bank, and for example, Echo Bank. Echo Bank is a Pan-African bank in Ghana, but they're Pan-African within the continent. They're not Pan-African worldwide. If we can get City First Bank and Echo Bank to partner up, we can keep our money flowing through the community. We can, let's say, we can, our own banks can collect fees off each other. Just like France and U.S. had a thing going, we can do it. And just like, uh, what's his name? AP, the, the founder of Bank of America, he started with helping his people. And then it blew up. You know what, guys? I'm going to write a letter. I'm going to write a letter, an email to the CEO of City First Bank and the CEO of Echo Bank and say we need to merge. Will they get it? I don't know, but I just had an epiphany. I'm going to do that, because it has to start somewhere. Who did I choose? I chose the lesser of the evil. I chose Bank of America. So even though we know it started, the foundation started off of slavery, exploitation, and genocide, and stealing, I'd rather choose them, because it started as supporting their community, and it blew up. The other banks, hell no, okay? <laughs> My ultimate heart's desire is to bank and use a melanated owned lead bank to transfer my money to Ghana, another melanated owned bank. That's all I have to say now. Stay blessed. We are at 994 subscribers. 1,000 is a goal by December 31st. You still have a chance to enter the 1K sub giveaway. Click the video, put your guess on how many subscribers I'll have by December 31st. And if you're the closest, it's dinner on me.